everyone welcome back to seeds of bng good morning we know it's been a while since we made a video i think maybe about maybe even three or four weeks now but we came down with the crud we're now recovered um that first week was rough by our second week we was back outside taking care of business here on the homestead we got the garden down there we got the chickens we got the water system around the corner that we're going to tell you all about um here in North Carolina, we've been dealing with the crazy drought, but we was able to get the, um, the water system finished up right before, um, I guess right after the drought, you could say, and we got maybe two or three days of rain in, but we managed to get it up to the point to where we're able to harvest the water. We got it double connected here or connected to each other to where we're able to collect our 500 gallons of, uh, of rainwater. I want to put something else to, um, I guess, to this water catchment piece here to where it has that first flush that's going down. But as you know, supplies are kind of hit or miss when you go to uh, some of the big box stores. I may have to uh, order something offline. But here we got our, got our water. We got good flow coming out. What's up? <laughs> Don't waste it. Um, we put down some lime and some grassy back here, so I'm just trying to wet it up just a little bit so it doesn't burn up with that lime. Um, the weatherman kills me every week saying I got a 40% chance, 50% chance. So I'll put down some stuff down onto the grass um, and it doesn't work out, nothing happens. But, all right, I got the chicken run completed enough to where I could put the chicks out here hey we put this door together me and my youngest son Andre actually put this door together um, I think AJ was sick at the time but um, let me give you a look at the chicks there's a couple in here as you see if you remember from our first videos how small they were they have since grown They're still yeah. close uh -oh. There you go, there you go. Hey girls. There we go. There's an update on the chicks. We still don't know, um, I guess if they will actually go in at night because I don't let them stay, uh, stay out all night like that or stay out till it actually gets dark. When it starts to get dark, um, I usually come out here, pick them up, put them back into the coop just to make sure that they're safe. Um, I talked to my neighbors on the other side of these trees over here, and he said that there's been possum and things like that that uh, have gotten to his chickens. So we just want to make sure that uh, we don't lose any of our flock at this early. As long as we can think about it and uh, make sure that they're safe, we're going to do that. May put an automatic door here that works off of solar. So at dusk and dawn the door uh, operates as it should <laughs> we've invaded their space and now they're <laughs> yeah. camera shy uh, all right we're leaving <laughs> but that's the update on the chicks they are growing they're striving if you see this um this water bucket down here we uh put this together bought these little cups off of amazon bought a five gallon bucket drilled it in and now we don't have a uh, to worry so much about water because they quickly outgrew the little chick uh, chick watering feeder that we have. I still have the waterer in the coop so they have something to drink on at night. But other than that, down to the garden we go. It's about nine o'clock right now on a Saturday. We've been out here, well, we've- Eight, I don't know, seven. Maybe eight, oh. 7.30, something like that out here. Um, Put a little bit of water on the vegetables over there. And I've already harvested. We'll show you that later. <laughs> yeah, she pulled in a harvest basket basket of goods. But here's the grapes. And this is where I stopped talking because I don't know what I'll be talking about when it comes to the garden. Well, I just came out and watered the grapes, but they're doing fine. They're growing bigger. <laughs> Haven't been seeing any um beetles. I saw one a while back, but ever since then, I haven't um, seen anything. The beetles to do what? Eat, eat, eat up the leaves. Gotcha. Yeah. And then you want to take the leaf off if they do eat off of it. 
Gotcha. The second one. This will be, I think we should get a few more. Yeah, for sure. Fill it up. Head over to the corn. I wasn't sure about the corn, but it looked like it's doing okay at the beginning. Is that the actual ear of corn that I'm looking at? Yeah. These. Nice. You got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're doing okay. The watermelon. <laughs> we're still trying to figure. Well, I'm trying to figure it out because they're so huge. Um, but if I do like the calculation when they should be done which I believe is 100 days, like it should be in like August, end of August actually, and it's the end of July. This thing is huge. Hand comparison, my hands aren't huge, but that'll give you an example. Probably about three, three or four of my hands could go across the top of this I watermelon. Thing and, I'm just not sure, well they're huge. Got watermelons hiding all in here. I found a new one today. Hold on, it's somewhere in here hiding. I try to move the leaves. You see it? Yep. <laughs> so we have a new one. I think it's one on the other side too. That one. Cantaloupes. I harvest another cantaloupe. So far we harvest two. Look at that color. That's gonna look be good. Juicy. If y'all remember when we put these cantaloupe down in the watermelon, uh, we had what one or two more coming. One or two plants, and they were the. I guess the transplant, the transplant plants that you would get from like a, a Lowe's, they come in a little, you know, eight ounce looking cup, and this is what it turned out to be. We had two cantaloupe plants and two watermelon plants. They've taken up two of these, um, I believe these are maybe six, they're not six feet, I think they're five feet. So they've taken up ten feet of, ten feet of two rows. So... The amazing thing is, I mean, we still have more growing, so I'm really impressed with these. That new one over there. And we got the idea of doing these, um, we got the idea of doing the fabric cloth from Living Traditions um, YouTube channel. And man, this, this couldn't have been a better choice for us to make. The little bit of weeds that you see here, this is pretty much what comes up. The little bit of weeds that will come up around your plant down there, which you can maintain and, you know, take take good care of your garden that way. Um, compared to, just imagine we was trying to do these watermelons and cantaloupes over in our non-covered um, area. I think that'd be a nightmare. Um, so I'm pretty glad we went with the choice of uh, taking their advice. Agreed. So, I've, um, lately I've been harvesting beans, which I'm really happy about. We planted like 20, but only let's see, eight actually um, came went ahead, germinated, and, and actually produced in some beans. The cucumbers, I've been harvesting a lot of cucumbers. They've been pretty big. They have been turned, the leaves have been turning yellow um, a lot recently. Um, so I don't know if it's just, you know, finishing up or if it's like a nitrogen thing, but I did send the soil off to be tested, which I'm very excited about, uh, with no sign of agriculture. Um, so I should be hearing back from them in like a week or two. So, so on that note, um, I would say check your local agriculture um, centers and just places like that. Um, Alicia was able to go in and find out that she could get free, was it six? six um, tests before November and then after that there's a time frame where it's like four dollars but you can do six tests within this uh, time frame right now for free which is really nice and they had a lot of resources <laughs> um, I also got told about a volunteer opportunity I'm um, at a nonprofit where they um, garden in containers I went there it was really nice and inspiring and I will be returning gotcha y'all see these weeds right here this is where we didn't do a good job of overlapping. That's the only reason that you see kind of a more weeds than you see anywhere else on the uh, on the garden area. We didn't do a good job of overlapping the fabric cloth and the weeds are just growing in the gap, but they are not intertwined in there with our, with our um, 
crops or anything like that, and it's pretty easy to get down here and, and pull these up. Yeah, I was going to say, hey, I just clean up as I go most of the time. Um, squash is, you know, coming along just fine. I've, I've frozen a lot of squash, and I just continue to harvest. They just keep coming um, beautifully. Now, our okra, I really love okra. <laughs> we both do <laughs> fry okra. Uh, we haven't really been able to produce anything because these ants, are attacking and taking over. Like I see, you can look here. Oh, you're showing the ants. Yeah, it's a bunch of ants right there. Like they, they try, they want to come, and then the ants are come and just like eat it up. So I was told by one of the volunteers some things that I can do for the ants, like ant bait, like water. Um, I want to try, you know, natural things. So um, she told me about all oh, natural garden spray as well. So I'm gonna try that. I've already ordered it and see if that helps and see if we get any okra. But if it don't work out this time, I will try again. And these jalapenos, y'all, if you follow us on um, like Instagram, anything you're seeing, I'll be harvesting a lot of jalapenos. I already did this morning. And then we're harvesting a lot of green peppers as well, which is really nice. See that? Yeah. And like we said a little bit ago, we've already, well, Alicia's already come out this morning did a little bit of weeding and actually harvested um some vegetables off of these plants um so we'll show you that in a little while um you want to tell about the lettuce oh yeah i did put down some lettuce um i think about 15 of them maybe five haven't germinated i'm not sure how it's gonna do because it's been so hot but i do see a couple germinated so i'm hoping they come through and if not i'll do some more august um because i know they like it kind of cool so we'll see what happens so i'm very excited about it because we love our salads and right now we can make some really good salads gotcha um i'll say just from just from the i'll say the small amount of plants that we have down right now we've been able to get a pretty good harvest especially the squash um and everything tastes different like it it doesn't taste Better. like grocery store grocery store squash like it's it's a sweeter taste the bell peppers the jalapenos everything just tastes uh tastes a little bit better um our daughter kayla she ate the cantaloupe and she's like oh my gosh like it doesn't have that soapy taste <laughs> like the store has but it's really sweet it's so good so it's really exciting on um, to be able to grow and really taste the natural taste of these vegetables and fruits. Gotcha. Well, that's it for the garden. I've um, already filled up our deer feeder back here and corn is starting to disappear. I'm not gonna walk all the way over there, but um, starting to fill that up. I might buy a bag of apples and cut them up and just put them along this tree line here just to invite uh, my deer back into the yard. I'm over to the garden. The garden need a fence. Well, I'll, I'll try to get the deer to make it to the freezer. How about that? Oh, we just found the compost area. Oh, yeah. And hopefully, you know, we've been working on the compost, all our food straps and grass clippings. And we're getting a pile over here. We're to use some in the garden. Yep, probably need to turn this today. Um, we have a, I guess a, a lunch date or something scheduled to where uh, wine. Well, well, what do you call it a lunch date? Yeah, so yeah I'm wine. gonna eat. <laughs> um, so we we have an afternoon date planned, but I may try to get out here and turn this. Usually, what I do is just take everything over here and pile it up on the opposite side, which allows whatever was on the top to be on the bottom, and kind of gets that turning process um, completed. I rode through here with the tractor with the mower down just to make sure that we're keeping the trails clear. Uh, the boys occasionally get back here with the four wheelers. Um, but it, like, oh, like Alicia belt. said, it's been so hot. Just being able to kind of get out is, uh, it's been painful. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got some logs we need to cut on the back porch over here. I don't know if you can see on this corner, we got, um, what do you call it? A, a log station, a log holder to go ahead and start drying our go ahead and start drying our logs for the wood burning fireplace. Um, we got our green giant trees 
And we've been water, um, watering them. Yeah, but at no rain is when we start to turn another color. Yeah. At drought period. So, anybody that know anything about uh, green dry, green giant trees, these are, I, guess, I think you say funga, green giant or arborvitaes. Um, anybody that know anything about these trees, if you know if they'll come back after turning color, um, I don't... They seem to still be growing. Yeah. Um, they're just brown, and like here we have maybe five, and then there's, what, two or three that's green field on the other side there's only two brown and the rest green maybe five greens yeah so if y'all know if they if they're gonna come back uh let me know and i won't dig them up but i believe i did purchase the uh, the warranty with them for a year um so we're gonna have to replace them and you know hope for the best again here's alicia's lemongrass and those are going really good too which Y'all just don't know, I got fussed at so bad for pulling the water hose over this lemongrass plant so many times. We bought this little, uh, I guess, keeper here on the side that'll actually stop it stop it from going over. Yeah, when it was small, it got really squished. I was worried that we killed it. But. Plants. Got lavender down here. And when you uh, brush up against the lavender, you can really smell it pretty good. So we, we did have some purple blooms on it, but again, no oh, rain. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, that's cute. Planted those uh, Xenas, the red seed, and they've been doing pretty good. I harvested one yesterday and got it on the dining table. Gotcha. Well, that's it. Oh, let's show them what I harvested. That's okay. We're now showing the harvest. I was about to hit you with my tagline. Oh, and I got to show y'all yeah. my sign. Oh, and a friend gave us a, a chili pepper plant over there. Chili. Nice. And some fresh eggs from the chickens. This is a part of the chili plant. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, let's go in. And that Zena that I harvest. Pretty. All right, where's the harvest? Take a look. This is all that harvest this morning. So really it's paid. This cantaloupe here, I weighed it. It was like four pounds and something. A couple of green peppers, some beans, some jalapenos, and cucumbers. So. Awesome. Yeah. So it's beginning to, it was fun from the beginning when we was just out here just messing around with the land. But even now, um, it's more fun because you actually get to see the fruits of your labor and eat it and eat it that's the best part <laughs> but from watching our videos uh one of our friends the mixtures found us our tagline in one of the stores so with that i'll say like comment subscribe and y'all come back now you hear <laughs>